Let me talk to you. Who is your players of the game? We have score predictions. How you think it's gonna be? Because I think it'll be Joel's murder ball, but mm. I think they they might get seven points early just because of the rivalry or whatever it is. But I think it'll be like a 49-7 score once we get a chance to take the hot area out of their balloon and get them to calm down. <laughs> Defensively, player of the game, I like Turner. I think they're going to have some issues trying to protect him off of the edge. They're going to try to pass the ball. They're going to try to throw screens. I think he's going to get them some issues, either him or Arnold, because everybody want to stay away from Kool-Aid and not throw at him as much, and they want to keep trying Arnold. One of the two of them are going to have a big game. They're going to make some mistakes. They're going to end up putting the ball in their vicinity or making it making sure that they get a chance to make a big play. Offensively, I might have go with the <laughs> – I don't want to call him a head case, but I'm going to call him a head case. Mr. Burton, Jermaine Burton, he showed up in big games. They Offensively, we feed off of his – His motion. His motion. Passion, yeah, his passion. We, we feed off of that. When he's going, it's bad for other teams because we able to get him open on a couple of double moves and the play action deep throws, it's big. Those are my two or three guys, I think, Offense and defensive, they're going to be big for us in doing the game. First quarter, it might be a close game. Then after that, our talent going to start taking over. The coaching going to start taking over. And they're going to realize that they just really can't play with us for four quarters. They can play with us for about eight minutes in the first quarter. But once we start putting that 350-pound offensive line on them, play after play, it's going to be some problems for them. Chris, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm kind of kind of close to that. I got 45-14. The voodoo is going to – they might try it. I, I really don't care about it. I just think we're such a better team. Offensive line-wise, we've been leaning on people lately. I feel like with the – you know, inserting Jaden Roberts in the lineup, that's given mm. us a lot more power in the run game. And if we rotate running backs, wouldn't be surprised if even someone like Justice Haynes got a few more carries after how he played last weekend. Mm. Um so us leaning on those guys, Jalen Milrow, giving the defense fits. He's been really confident throwing the ball. Our receivers have been playing really well. Um, I've even seen Jalen Hale getting on the field more and more every week. And so that's encouraging for our offense, act, giving us another weapon, somebody else to go out there and make plays. And for our defense, I'm sure Hugh Freeze will have something dialed up, but they're going to try to do the lateral thing with us, sideline to sideline, because up the middle there won't be anything. <laughs> I think it will be closer. I think the game will be closer than what what we think it is. And I never I never discount Auburn. I hope it's I hope it's 45 to 6. I hope it's 35 to 6 something like that. I'm thinking more 35-21. Hopefully Alabama will come out fast. Is that Auburn? I think it it, it definitely could be a close game. I never want to look Alabama look past a game either. So mm-hmm. um as far as players of the game, it's got to be Jalen Milrow. I, I think he's going to have a, a good amount of rushing yards, maybe a couple of passing touchdowns. I just hope he continues to improve like he has every week. And I think he's been playing really well uh, on defense. I got to go with Caleb Downs or Dallas Turner. Hopefully he get in there, get some sacks. Caleb Downs is playing really well. Have part return as well. So mm. to see how he's going to do back there and returning punts. I'm assuming he will be back there instead of Kool-Aid. Those are my predictions. I think it will be closer than than what we think it will be. I hope it won't be. Time for just one more thing. With the position that our team is in, they're going to leave no doubts this Saturday. No doubts. So don't be surprised if you see your team go in here and dog walk Auburn. I'm predicting 63 to 3. That's what I'm going with.